All right, guys. Oh, camera. There we go. All right. So, I think, yep. Right. Welcome back, everybody. We are taking a look at Enterprise E's ship. What's the name of this one? USS Geronimo. USS Geronimo. And tell us a little bit about it before we go inside. Well, I got the idea for building this ship from the video on YouTube called Axanar. Okay. Like four years war with the Klingon Empire before yep. TOS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought I'd have a go at this. It's a nice. I did ship. already do the Aries as well, but I thought this would be a better one for this little lineup. Tidy. And unconventional. Yeah. The two secondary hulls are both shuttle bays, as well as deflector dishes that are fully functional. And it does have forward and rear facing weaponry. Hmm. And a fully functional tractor beam. Nice. Stands out really quite well on this background as well. Yeah, the tractor beam is rear facing from the two secondary hulls. Nice. Near to the shuttle bay entrances. So, where do you want us to enter the ship? Um, find Yelby. He's like one of the airlocks right this minute. Oh, and also, what's the name of the ship again? USS Geronimo. USS Geronimo. I'm looking at where the place is. You're at the is. far side. Other side of the saucer section. Oh, I see it. Here we go. The gravity in here is permission moduled, so anyone can access it at any time. Lovable, the desk went mental. Okay, guys, let's head inside. Boop. There's not much interior though, because it's more of a combat vessel. Okay, as always, the person in yellow is Enterprise E, the builder of the ship. Person in green is Yelby, and everybody else is people coming to tour the ship with us. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Standard kind of core room design. Yep. Yep. Functional red alert system. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's actually blinking red alert, yeah. <clears throat> I always do that with my ships nowadays. And the only other interior at this area is just cargo slash medical bays. Oh really? <clears throat> That's yeah. interesting. So the rest of it's ship systems? For the most part, apart from two shuttle bays which are designed as fighter launch areas as well. Good man. Are they accessible from this area? No, you need to go on the outside to, to get there. Outside. Yeah, I understood. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'd like to check out those hangars as well. But yeah, nice job, mate. <coughs> and you can dock in there if you wanted to because of mission modules on the docking units as well. Hmm. Well, it was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Right, with this one, I'll hop back on to using my admin account. So, yeah, I'll be able to control stuff if necessary from the um, core. Okay. Are we going to go down to the hangar quick and have a look at that? Yep. I'll make sure they're both open. Oh, hang on a minute. Did we get everyone? Uh... Yeah, you did. Oh, we did get uh, everyone. Well, hold on. There's two people down below, but they should be able to get cores if needed. All right. And there you have it. There you have two um, hangers. Those flashing lights below the, on the deck area. Yep. It's just behind there where the tractor beam system is. Oh, okay. It's really effective. I have actually tested it, and if I used it on, it did move at a decent rate. Quality. I think we're... Are we, is someone trying to get back on board? <laughs> Wait, what and is going also, on? Also, I can turn off the flash... Whoa, what the hell? What the... Is someone using admin commands to warp you out? It was just the warp effect. It was, yeah. And the flashing navigational lights can be turned off as well. All ah, right. Okay. So there it is. Right. I'm going to give them an opportunity to come and get back on board. All oh, right. What are they doing? I believe Grill a lot is going for it right now. Yeah, he is. And Camlotter is also joining us. You say that, but he, it dropped him off 99 metres from me. 
Uh, <laughs> when he got out of it, hole. it's because he was jumping about so much. He's desynced. No, it's because what happened was, if you remove a core while you're in it, it glitches out and it sends you like a few hundred meters away. God knows where he went. All right, just well, something I've noticed. Without derailing any further, so what? Uh, last time, Enterprise E, the name of the ship. USS Geronimo. The USS Geronimo, and it's from the... Axanar film on YouTube. The Axanar Easy film to find, just look YouTube. up the word Axanar and you'll find it. So there it is. And thanks again for letting us have the guided tour. No problem. And uh, I look forward to seeing the next build you bring in. The next one's going to be a lot bigger. Good. Well, we're going to move on to the next ship now. So thanks okay. again, and uh, we're moving on.